Okay. Mom gave me a list of things to do after my class this morning because they'll be at work all day. I got to get groceries, uh, pick up some books, and drop off a few things at her friend's. So that means I will be gone for about three hours total. Okay? So that means you're holding down the fort for the majority of the morning. And, oh, I pre-made some, uh, what was it, casserole last night. It's supposed to be for a, a lunch for the both of us when I get home. Do you think around um, noon, noon 30, you could put it in the oven? It'll be, what is it, 375 degrees Fahrenheit, and you put it in for about 35 to 40 minutes. Hello? Hello, Earth to Sibling? Oh, come on. You can't really be ignoring me, can you? It's just putting a casserole in the oven and taking it out if I'm not home in time. Hello? Ugh. Can't. Snap. Hey. There we go. Are you okay? I know you haven't been feeling the absolute best, but you're usually more attentive than this. Your mouth says I'm fine, but your eyes say, Whoa, my brain is going a million miles an hour. Well, of course I can read you. I'm your older sister. I've known you since you were born, as dumb as that joke is. Um, well, I mean... I could leave you here and just let you sit in your thoughts, but we see the time. Yeah. I think I can spend at least a few minutes with my favorite sibling. Okay. Just because you're the only sibling I have doesn't mean you can't be the favorite. Um, don't fight me on this. Just accept the fact that I'm going to be talking to you for a little bit. As exciting as your thoughts are, I'm sure. Just talk to me. Maybe I can help a little. I will do my absolute best not to make fun of you. Besides, usually when your thoughts are... Keeping you this quiet, it's not something worth making fun about. I mean, making fun of you is never good anyway, and I should probably slow down on that, but we'll get into that another time. So what's been going on? School been treating you rough? Work? People? Who do I have to beat up? Nobody? Oh. I'm kidding. Violence is never the answer. Although sometimes it's... Anyway. So what's got you all worked up? What's got your brain moving so quickly? Mm -hmm. You've been feeling stuck? St how? How would you be stuck? You're doing so much. School, work, as I said. Family time. Friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm well aware of that. It's definitely been keeping you busy. Of course, I promise not to tell mom or dad. This is sibling time between you and me, and will always stay between you and me. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Of course I remember that. Oh, wow, that's... That's a lot on your plate. A lot more than I thought you had. A lot more you've been letting on, let's be fair. Um... Do mom and dad know just how much you've been doing? Mm. Oh. Okay, yeah. That's what they told me when I was doing a lot of extracurriculars and working and doing all that at the same time, too. That was maybe four years ago, and I had absolutely no experience in balancing stuff. You even wrote a list? No, I'm not laughing at you. It's actually something I used to do when I started out making mm, to-do lists. When things started to build up, it kind of helped me stay organized. Can I see the list? Ah, cool. Mm-hmm. Oh, double-sided. You weren't kidding when you said you had a lot. Okay. I like it. That's definitely a good starting step. Now, did you... prioritize it? Yeah. Like... You know... Finding the more important things, the bigger things that require you to spend the most time and energy on. Yeah, of course it helps. There's a lot of things here, but some are obviously not as important as others. Yeah, like, um... Rebooting your system so that you can play that new game you just got. That one, I think, can be put on the back burner as opposed to finishing the project for class. Or what you could do is start the rebooting and then work on your project while that's doing its thing. Oh, it's not that hard. Come on. All you need to do is just take a minute and sort out your list. If you need to write out in, uh, in other sheets of paper what you think are most important, and then what's not as important, and then things you can do other days. You know, like tomorrow or the day after. Things that can wait for a little bit. It's the things that are on your priority list that will require the most attention at the fastest time possible. Look, I know it's hard. Sometimes it's, well, actually most of the time it's not fun. I Never said I liked making lists. Okay, actually I do, but looking at the list of things to do, it's, it's never fun. I mean, look at what mom gave me. It's a pretty big sheet. I just read a few of the things for you, but it's a lot more than that. All you need to do is just find your priorities. Look at what needs the most attention or the most energy and do those first. If you need to take breaks, then do the things that don't require as much attention or energy. And then, well, then you should be okay. It's a lot like how to live life, honestly. Well, you don't see me playing video games every hour on the hour. 
I love playing, but sometimes I need to get other stuff done first. Oh, yeah, trust me. I know it's not fun. I never said I like doing the things on the list. But sometimes you need to. Besides, once you get done with the main priorities, then you can start focusing on the smaller things and have fun. No, no, no. I'm not telling you to wear yourself out with the big priorities. You should still take time for yourself. Take a break every once in a while. You know me, in the middle of studying, I take food breaks. Sometimes I make something small here at home, or other times I go out and, you know, grab some bubble tea or fries or something. It kind of helps me relax. And then we look at my priorities and continue with whatever I was doing first. <laughs> Trust me, I am far from organized. I only just started learning how to do this. It's been working out a lot, actually. I'm just telling you things that I know from what I've done. Make a list, prioritize it, and go through with it. And then, once you start checking off everything, crossing things off your list, you'll start to get a big sense of accomplishment. Especially. And I really mean especially. Once that list is completely crossed off. When there's nothing else to cross off, on any to-do list, be it for work, school, life. It just feels good. I know it's hard, but you can do it. You may be a goofy little sibling, but you're smart. Just focus, you know? Mm-hmm. Focus, but give yourself time to breathe. Mm. Can I help you prioritize things? Uh, let me look at the time again. It's... I, okay. Alright, I, I guess I can. At least a few of the things just so that I can give you a sense of how I do it. Mind you, not everything I do is going to work for you, but it'll give you an idea of how to start. Okay? Let me see. Alright, let's look. Hmm? Well, don't worry about it. It's what big sisters do. Besides, I may make fun of you a lot, but I care. Come on, let's get this list started. I'll help you out with a little bit, and then I gotta go. You can complete the rest and get started, okay? Good. I believe in you. Let's see. What should go first? 